I also want to extend my deepest condolences to the family, to the friends, and all of the fans of uh, Gord Downey, Mr. Speaker, across this country. Um, Gord lived every single day of his life with grace and resilience. Uh, his music was a quintessential, quintessential part of being Canadian, Mr. Speaker, and I know that there are millions, literally millions of uh, Canadians who are in mourning today, and I want to just uh, say that he will be greatly missed by all of us. What did it mean to have Gord Downey speaking out about Indigenous issues to the rest of Canada, using his farewell tour as well to uh, get that message out? I think it has been um, unbelievably important um, that there's somebody of Gord's stature um, as a non-Indigenous person taking this to heart in, a, in an example that he set for all Canadians. And we are devastated by the loss of Gord Downey. The tragically hip have been the soundtrack of our nation, that cranked up rowdy arena rock band that was both profoundly intimate and profoundly Canadian. I had the honour of knowing Gord a bit my days as a musician. He wasn't just an incredible artist. He was a decent, loving human being who believed the world could be a better place. And in the face of his own mortality, he took his suffering and brought our nation on a journey of reconciliation and justice because Gord wanted the nation to know that there are thousands of Chani Wenjaks out there today trying to find their way home from a system that has robbed them of their families, of their identity, and their culture. Go to the angels, Gord, and rock that choir, and we, will watch those constellations and you reveal themselves one star at a time. Thank you. Gord, of course, has been in our hearts since his diagnosis. He used his remaining time to maximum effect, championing uh, Indigenous rights and reconciliation. His sense of social justice was legitimate and his passion burned bright. And of course, the final tour of the hip last year became an iconic Canadian moment. It felt like all Canada came together because in Gord we trust. And so, as we bid farewell to Gord Downey, we express our condolences to his family and express confidence that Gord Downey's example will help us live with no dress rehearsal, because this is our life. I understand that there is agreement for a moment of silence in honour of the late, great Gord Downey, and I invite members to stand. <laughs> 